Hello, hello, good morning. So today we are in the absolutely gorgeous Cornwall. Never been here before, never been this far down south before, but it is a beautiful southwestern county in England and it's famous for having some of the most beautiful beaches in the country, maybe even the world. So if you want to see some of the best things to see and do in Cornwall, including walks, beaches, amazing places to eat, then just keep watching. Our day in Cornwall started with breakfast, strong coffee, winter berries muesli, and a choice of hot dishes, which were both cooked to order and delicious. Day, we traveled down we stayed in a place called Bood which is a town which became really famous in the Victorian times actually it became a really famous seaside resort so we stayed there and now we've just traveled down to a place called Widemouth so we are literally just on an enclave where you can actually see down into this beautiful beach the weather is not the best it's just started raining and yeah I thought it was supposed to be sunny today but, so this is Wide Mouth, which I'm gonna show you, and then we're gonna carry on our little road trip down further into Cornwall and explore some more beautiful places. <laughs> Weather is not so great. Still beautiful though. So as you saw, we're leaving that place called Wide Mouth Beach because the weather... I <laughs> called it Wet Mouth Beach. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's absolutely soaking wet. It's so, it just suddenly started like absolutely pouring with rain. So um, yeah, we're back in the car now and we're heading to the next place, which is Tintagel Castle and Merlin's Cove, which isn't too far from here. And it's further along the coast. Every time, but it comes back eventually. I've been telling you look at that dog. Look at his face. He wants to eat some food. <laughs> Tintagel Castle, <laughs> I think that's how it's said. And we're now looking for Merlin's Cave. All right, so I am now in one of the caves. Don't know if it's Merlin's Cave. There's a beautiful view out there. Some people have climbed right the way back, but I'm not about to do that. Um, and then in front of us is Tintagel's Castle. So I'm about to, yeah, we're about to check that out now. <laughs> This is the view. <sighs> this is the beach. Little picture next to the stunning waterfall. I don't know if this is always here or whether it's because of the rain that we've been having, but it's absolutely beautiful. All right, so hope that you can hear me. I can confirm that was Merlin's cave that we were just walking through earlier and Tintagel Castle is right above me and it was built by Richard, Earl of Cornwall in 1230, I believe. Well, I read it actually. <laughs> um, and he built it here because of the location's association with um, ancient Cornish kings. So yeah, 
pretty, it's a pretty amazing place. And to be honest, even if you're not into the history, it's just a stunning location. It honestly is. We also saw a man dressed up as Merlin. I don't know if that's like a, like a thing here in Cornwall. Did you get my socks wet, Samuel? No, I did not. She got the mail in now. Oh, what a good boy. There he is. Oh. You can't. You got me. <laughs> so I actually learned that in the old days, the miners would take these down and obviously their hands would be so dirty, so they would actually hold on to this like knotted, plaited part and they would eat the inside and then throw the rest of it. So yeah, that's how you're supposed to eat a Cornish pasty. This is so nice. This is the vegan one. It was packed full of all different veggies. Delish. So we're still driving and it's still raining as it always is on our road trips. And one of the things I've noticed is I've seen palm trees and houses that you just don't see up north really. Um, it's a completely different kind of landscape to anywhere else that we've ever been to. We're on the coastal path now and it's such a scenic drive. So if you are coming to Cornwall, I can re recommend taking the coastal path. It goes through Boscastle and um, into Tintagel. I, I, I know I'm absolutely murdering the names, but yeah, this way. On Google this place called Pentire Path so up here is the Rumps and Pentire Point which supposedly has a beautiful view across the ocean the Atlantic Ocean down there is Pentire Farmhouse and across here is the coastal path and you can see like a lighthouse in the distance yes I know it's a bit boggy <laughs> stunning 100% add this to your list when you come to Cornwall I don't know if you can hear me because of the wind but what I wanted to say was um, this is the coastal path um, and it looks like you can walk for absolutely miles like we're just carrying on walking but there is a football match on in about two hours and we need to drive to our nearest hotel you know the football match it's that England versus Italy so yeah, I'm really not bothered about football, but I know the rest of the country, <laughs> the rest of the country are bothered and the person I'm traveling with is bothered. So yeah, uh, don't know if you can hear me. I'm going to sign off now and hopefully catch up with you tomorrow after England have won or Italy, whoever wins. By the way, please don't take me too seriously with what I'm saying about football. <laughs> I know it's a huge deal. I didn't realize how big of a deal it was. Um, but I know it's been 55 years since England were in a final. Um, and I know it's a huge deal. So yeah, I'm only joking. See you tomorrow.